Hey guys, today I'm going to go through the Digger tool and its functionalities in SolidWorks Composer. The Digger tool is a great tool for showing minute details, kind of like we would with a detail view. However, it has a couple more functionalities that really make it a powerful and great tool to use. So to open up the Digger, I can go into the Home tab and click the Digger button here, or I can use one of the shortcuts. Control D is one of them, but I could also click the spacebar. With my Digger window open now, there's a couple adjustments that I have. In the bottom left, I can click the left tab and adjust the size of my digger window. The right tab here will adjust the power of whatever functionality we're using. So in this case, it's adjusting the magnification of my zoom. Now besides the zoom here, we have a couple more functionalities of the digger tool that we can take advantage of. To start, we have the cutting plane, which if I adjust the slider here, it'll cut straight into the part here so we can see exactly what's going on in the inside. We also have the X-ray tool and onion skin, which as we adjust the slider, will allow us to strip away components of our assembly so that we can see just the inner, inner components. Now the difference between the two tools here, the X-ray tool, it'll leave these ghosted lines to see the parts that we just stripped away. The onion skin tool will only show our components on the inside and it'll completely hide those, uh, those stripped away components. Now we have a couple more functionalities to the digger here that we can take advantage of. This bottom left light bulb here, if we click and hold, will allow us to bring in a light to change the lighting situation of our, of our digger window. This right crosshair here, if we click and hold, will allow me to adjust my exact target of my digger. Finally, we have this little camera uh, picture here that if we click that, it will give us a high resolution output of our digger window. Now after we've made an output, if we click on the image we've created, we have a couple more options that we can do to modify this in the properties window. So I can change the type of line that we're going to from our target. So maybe I want a straight you know, triangular line or a gradient. I can adjust the color. I can also adjust the shape. So we have a couple of different uh, modifications that we can do to really tailor our, uh, our outputs to how we need them. Now one of the great parts about the digger is that if I want to create a view maybe in a different rendering mode than I have in the rest of my model here, I can certainly do that. So say I want to just highlight you know, this part of my winch assembly here but I want to show this in a more technical illustration or maybe in a straight silhouette mode. All I need to do is I'll just go to the render, change the mode, maybe the silhouette, and then I can do my output like I did last time. So now I've got my nice technical illustration looking uh, output for my digger view. And now if I go back to my mode here, change it back to smooth, I can show my technical illustration detail view in context with the real view uh, appearance. Alright guys, I hope this video has been helpful in uh, helping you use the digger. Alright guys, thank you for watching this video. I hope it's really helped you guys use and take advantage of the digger tool in SolidWorks Composer. If you have any questions, feel free to post them in the comments below. And if you have any suggestions for future videos, please post them on the discussion page at the SolidWorks Composer YouTube channel. Thank you very much for watching.